And hello there, CP Finite. Welcome to lesson 3.2 in our matrix world, advanced matrix operations. We looked at addition and subtraction last lesson. Now we are going to be using our calculator to do things like multiplication, division, and some other things. Uh, you will need a graphing calculator for this, okay? Um, and we are going to be using that for pretty much all these operations. Uh, you can do certain ones by hand, but I'm going to show you how to use the calculator, and hopefully that makes you happy. Okay, so matrices in the calculator. All right, if you look closely at your calculator, you're going to see above the X minus 1, it's going to be a blue matrix. Um, if you hit second and that X minus 1, this window should come up. Um, by the way, this is very important, so make sure you are following along, and if you need to repeat my directions, go back from there. Okay, so second x minus one, you're gonna see A, B, C. Those are just different matrices. They're all empty at this time. So from here, you need to go over to edit. So from there, you just go to edit, and that's going to allow you to enter in different matrices. So if I edit matrix A, um, you'll see this here. So before you use a matrix, you need to edit it. Scroll over it to edit and then enter the matrices. Now, you need to determine what dimensions you want the matrix to be. So we're gonna start by substituting this matrix A in for matrix A. Well, from last lesson, you should know this is a two by two matrix. So we are going to just type in two, enter, and two, and you'll see it makes a blank matrix for you. So if you ever mess up the dimensions, you can go back and re-edit. And then it's just easy as entering four, two, three, and one, okay? Now, to enter in another matrix, we have to actually leave this one, and you're going to do second and mode, which is also quit, and that'll just take you back to the home screen. So second mode will quit. You'll enter back in and go over to edit and we'll edit matrix B. So for matrix B, this one, remember two rows, three columns. So we're gonna type in a two by three and two, zero, nine, one, three, seven. Second, quit brings us out, and we again are going to put in matrix C, and that's going to be a three by three. And again, be practicing this second matrix over to edit, edit matrix C, and we'll make it a three by three. Um, four, three, two, whoops. If you ever mess up, just go back and re-edit over the cell. I see what I did. Don't want to make it a 34, three by three matrix. So if you ever mess up, you can just go back, redo some things here, and then one, zero, one, and zero, zero, four. Okay, so make sure you have those in your calculator, and that'll be important moving on here. Okay, so Matrix multiplication, um, it's a little tricky. It's not like regular multiplication where we just multiply things. And it's different than scalar multiplication in which we scale things. So we're going to try to multiply matrices A times B. So to do that, we're just going to leave the matrix, go back into the matrix, and here, don't go over to edit, just call out matrix one by its name. So we're gonna call out matrix A. So here we're using the name part of the matrix. Now just hit multiply, so times. So there is a little multiplication in there and call out matrix B. Second matrix, just hit two and you'll get that there. Now if you hit enter, boom, 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 it is going to give you the resulting multiplication. So 10, 6, 50, and 7, 3, 34. 
So there's a lot more going on here. Again, I could show you by hand if you are very interested. Um, you can look up some tutorials online. I myself can explain it to you. But it's not just as simple as 4 times 2 and so forth. So just take it for granted and use your calculator and that shouldn't be bad. Now let's look at something else. Let's look at B times A. So we're used to multiplication being commutative, but it's a little different in the matrix world. So B times A and oh no, we get an error. So that's actually, that's, that's natural. Um, it is not possible. So just like sometimes addition and subtraction wasn't possible, neither is all multiplications. So the specific thing for multiplication is in order to multiply matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So let's notice for A times B, we had a two by two matrix times B, which was two by three. Columns have to equal rows. So these two dimensions have to be the same in order to multiply. The dimensions on the ends are what the resulting matrix is. So notice we have a two by three as a result. So that's good to know. Um, these need to be the same and the end matrix dimensions are what results. B times A, although it seems the same, this is a two by three times a two by two. It is not possible because three is not equal to two. Okay, so just looking down below here to give you a better idea of this, um, we could multiply this one here, yes. Okay, and specifically coming out of it, we would get a two by five. So it's going to equal some two by five matrix. Um, this one again, oh, I made up the same thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's still possible because it's the same thing, Mr. Dvorsky. Um, this one here is not the same, so it's not possible. Um, four by four and four by one, these are the same. Um, it would result in a four by one. Um, not possible and not possible. Okay, so don't be afraid if you get dimension mismatch. Um, that's just because the columns of the first do not equal the rows in the second. So multiplication, it's all your calculator. Now, division, there's not actually formal division with matrices. Instead, we use something known as the inverse. Okay, back in the day, if you remember the inverse property, 1 over x, um, that's going to be the same as x to the negative first. And essentially, that is what division is. So, for division, we're going to do something similar here. Find the inverse of matrix A. So it's kind of like finding the reciprocal. To do that, we are going to select matrix A from our calculator. So second matrix A. Now the inverse, kind of like the reciprocal. So the inverse is almost like the reciprocal of a matrix. If you hit x to the negative 1, now that is the regular matrix button. So right below math, you'll see this. And if you hit enter, you're going to get this here. Now you can make that into fractions. And if you just do math fraction enter, that will turn it into fractions. So the inverse is negative 1 half, 3 halves. 1 and negative 2. Okay. Um, interestingly, so let's take that inverse. So if you actually hit multiply right now, so that is the inverse. That's what we just found. 
And if we multiply that by the original matrix A, we are going to get what is known as an identity matrix. So 1, 0, 0, 1, that's the identity matrix. It's kind of like the number 1. Okay, so a few things just happened here. Okay, this is like the reciprocal. This is the original. So blue is the reciprocal. This is the original, and this is like 1. So in a sense, we have something like 1 half times 2 equals 1, and that's essentially what's going on here. Um, another key thing is inverses can only be found for square matrices. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up real quick. You could not find an inverse for matrix B because it's not a square matrix. You can for matrix C. So practice by finding the inverse of C. Remember, that's just second math. Call out matrix 3. Get the inverse. And if you can't see the whole thing, don't panic. Just make it fractions, and you should be able to see what that is. So C to the negative 1 is equal to 0, 1, negative 1 fourth, 1 third, negative 4 thirds, 1 sixth, 0, 0, 4. Okay, and that's the inverse. All righty. Now, where this helps out is solving systems. We can take matrices and solve systems with them. And it takes all the guesswork out. It takes a lot of your hard work out. And it makes it pretty easy. So let's check this out. Um, solve this system using matrices. We got a three by three, or we got a three variable system here. And um, basically are going to be able to solve for that. I think this is pretty cool. So, so just hold on. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write out a matrix of the coefficients. So our matrix we're going to create is going to involve all the coefficients of x, y, and z. So just like how it's written here, whoops, we have a negative 1, we have 4, and we have 1. Those are the coefficients of x. We have negative 5, negative 5, and 5 for y, and we have z is negative 5 also, 4, and negative 1. Okay, so that's our matrix. Boom, boom, boom. Now the variables we wish to find, those are things, those are just going to be x, y, and z. And we write them as a column matrix. Okay, um, reason being, this is a 3 by 1 so we need a, this is a 3 by 3, sorry. So we need a 3 by 1 in order to multiply. And we're going to set that equal to the last bit of numbers, 2, 19, and negative 20. It's going to seem confusing here at first, but believe me, it'll save you some time. So 2, 19, negative 20. Okay. Now, we are going to enter in both those matrices into our calculator. Um, let's enter matrix one, this first one, as matrix A, and let's enter the second one as matrix B. Okay, so back in matrix world, over to edit, and you can edit right over top of this one. So I'm just gonna make a three by three and replace the numbers in the matrix. So this is, again, is rather calculator heavy work, but it's gonna save you a lot of headaches if you're able to do it properly the first time. So I put in matrix A. So A is in there. 
Now we're going to put the pink numbers into matrix B. So leave the matrix world, enter the matrix world, go over to 2, edit, and we're just going to re-edit a 3 by 1. So 2, 19, negative 20. Hit enter and leave the matrix. Now it's time for some magic. Okay, here is the magic. So before I dive into the magic, let's think. If you had an old school equation like 5x equals 15, one way to solve this is by multiplying each side by the inverse, one-fifth, which would give you, these would cancel, and you would have x equals 3. We're using that same idea here with our matrices. So if we simply take the B matrix and we multiply it by the inverse of A, we'll get our solutions. Now you need to type it in exactly as this appears, A inverse B. So we're going to call out matrix A, hit the inverse, call out matrix B, hit enter, doo -doo -doo -doo, and we get this, negative 2, negative 3, and 3, which essentially is x, y, and z, and you just found the solutions to that matrix, x equals negative 2, y equals negative 3, and z equals 3. It's all about inverses. A few things, make sure you hit that inverse button when you do that, and I know it takes a little bit of time to put in your calculator, but you don't have to substitute, eliminate, or any of that. We're using the power of the matrix to solve a system. Um, you should have graphing calculators, but if you don't, there's a website for you. Math is fun. Haha. <laughs> um, algebra matrix calculator. So we looked at multiplication and division today. Um, your practice problems, um, you'll be practicing some of these. Not every operation is possible, so you should state the reason why. And also, you will be practicing some of these here. So you're solving for the missing matrix there. Okay. Um, for these, again, you're just going to type this as matrix A and B and do A inverse B, and you'll get a big matrix out as the solutions. Then you can try out some systems. So good luck through that stuff. Again, rewatch some of that if you didn't catch your calculator details, and um, let me know if you have further questions.